Now, in a minute, what we're going to do is roll back all of the changes that we just made. We'll roll back our current modification. We'll roll back our commit. But before we do that, I wanted to show diff in a graphical format, which can be really useful, especially when visualizing large changes. So I've opened up a program called SmartGit for the first time. We cover where to find and how to install SmartGit in some of the previous videos, but this is the first time that we've opened it up. Let's go ahead and keep this selected at open an existing or create a new local Git working tree. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit choose. And I'm going to navigate to where my site is. It's at locgitsite.com. And once that's selected, I'm going to click choose again and continue. Now we can specify the name of this project. This is the name of the project within SmartGit. It doesn't affect Git itself at all, but we'll go ahead and leave it at locgitsite.com, which is just the name of the folder that it's in. And I'm gonna click finish. When it loads up, on the left-hand side, you see a list of the folders inside of the main directory. And whereas most of the folders are this default manila, you see some that have a special indicator. And if you hover over them, you'll see some text that explains what it is. This says that it's untracked. And this is a Komodo tools folder that got created when the project in my IDE was created. But because it's hidden, that is it starts with a dot, then Git ignores that. And if we scroll down, we see that this one has a little arrow that indicates that there's something inside that's modified. So if we keep expanding, we get to this one, which is input, which is the module that we moved over. And if you look over here on this next pane, we see that the input module is red, which indicates that there's some changes here. And if we look at the columns, the index state is unchanged, but the working tree state, which is any modifications that we've made, is considered modified. If we click this, then below, we'll see a list of our changes. So on the left here is the original version, and on the right is our modified version. And if we look at this line by line, we see that there's red lines above and below this line, which is an indicator that there's been a change, or rather a removal and an addition. And we can even see specifically what the change is because it's highlighted in green. So this is kind of handy, something that you don't see on the command line. And if we scroll down, we see here's a deletion of a line and it's indicated with a purple background and you see where that line would fit in in the updated version. There's even a gradual curve here to indicate exactly where something belongs. And if we scroll down, we'll see the additions in green, and the additions are in the updated version, and you can see this graduated curve to where those would display in the original version or where they've been inserted. On the very right, you can see a summary of all of the changes in the file. Here's a little red to indicate a change. Here's a little purple to indicate a deletion. And here's green to indicate some addition. And if you look down, you can see that if we scrolled down even more, there would be some additional additions. And the position of these colors is synchronous with the scroll bar. So we can scroll down and you see that we have this addition showing up right here. So while we're here, let's go ahead and look at one other handy visualization within SmartGit. First of all, make sure that you've highlighted the topmost folder because we're going to look at the log and the log is associated with whatever folder we currently have selected. So we wanna make sure that we're on the root of our repository and then go ahead and click log. And this will show a visual tree of changes that have been made of commits. And as we get into branching and merging a little bit later, you'll start to see these changes as well. So first we have our initial commit here and then we have our added input module here, and we can click on these to view what changes there were. So for example, on this one, we have all of these files that were added, and we can scroll down to see them all. In this commit, we can see we only had one file that changed right here. And in our third commit, you can see we added several changes and actually modified a file. You can tell with the little red indicator on the icon. If you click on an individual file, you can see a diff that shows the difference between this commit and the previous one. So over here is the original, and over here is the updated version, and you can see that the original was actually blank, and we added several lines of code to it. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back to the command line. 